ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all over the world. Here we go. I'm Robbie. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, welcome to another episode of Robbie D. Okay, right now, I'm during my Japan escapade. Marami tayong ginawa. Pero for this particular vlog, we are going to be trying out different and exotic Japanese food na kakaiba sa panlasa. Up first is what we're going to be trying here in Sendai. Ang tinatawag dito ay Yutan. Let's go! Look at this long line. Oh, I hear in the Sendai station, they have prepared something really, really nice for me. It's called the Shintan Gyutan. Gyutan literally means gyu, Japanese for beef or cow. Tan is English word for tongue, so it's cow tongue, diba? And look at the thickness of the Shintan they gave me. Premium beef, excellent grill. Let's try it. Mm hmm. Medyo chewy siya. Try ito. You have that saltiness, that creaminess from the beef. And when you're in Sendai, definitely a must try. Do that. Mm hmm. Well. Favorite of the Filipinos, sea urchin. Look at how generous the chef is with me. Let's talk about the sushi that I ate yesterday. Of course, when you talk about Japan, kailangan makakain ka ng sushi dito. Dito sa Sendai Station, naka-omakasi style, nakita mo yung chef na nagpre-prepare ng sushi mo habang nakatayo. Ang sarap lang, sobra nung, nung maduro. Yung tuna belly, ay, sarap. Para siyang sobrang fresh na piece of tuna belly. Yung ebi naman, hindi ko alam, yung kinain ko ay ebi o margarine. Ganun siya ka-fresh, ganun siya ka-siriwa dito. At yung pinaka-paborito ko rin dito ay yung uni. Iba yung uni niya, hindi siya yung kadalasan na medyo mabasa-basa. Dito, it's dry. Pero pag kinain mo, nandun, pasok yung flavors eh. Especially, yung sweetness ng uni mixing with the saltiness of the seaweed. Approved para sa akin. tayo sa Zundasario and kakaiba yung binibigay nila dito. Uh, it's not your typical dessert shop because they have mixed Japanese beans with milk. I'm talking about edamame. Call your mommy right now because you're about to listen to this one. Oh, so thick. <laughs> Smell like anything. Wow! 
Edamame and edamame kakaiba eh. Sa atin, edamame is what you order before you have a meal. Means, um, right now, yung Japanese beans sa edamame, which is formed into delicacies. Yung ice cream, my cake, yung ice cream, it's really creamy. With a hint of edamame, hindi siya yung sobrang nag-overpower ng suya ka. Wala eh. Yung cake naman, it's very very thick, so I suggest you share it with someone. Because pag magisa ka lang, feeling ko mabubusog ka agad. But the best thing about the cake, wala siyang katulad ng ice cream, hindi ka hindi siya nakasuya. Eh. Yung shake, yun yung pinakapaborito ko dito sa Sundo Sario. It is very creamy, delicious, and easy to drink. Morioka Station. Morioka takes pride in their three great noodles, and one of them is soba. When it comes to noodles, I buy it here in Morioka. Siempre, since we're here in the in this prefecture, we're gonna be trying out the, this type of wagyu beef. It's less fatty but more flavorful. I'm gonna have it right here at Neuf de Pape. Lots of wine inside. I'm excited now. Uh, okay, can we go inside? Yes. Yeah, okay. Welcome to Takakubi. So what I have is a tadkaku wagyu beef. Um, as they say, it's less fatty. The marbling is different. Hindi siya yung katulad na nagita natin na steak na parang bilog bilog. Wala sila siya serve na sauce dito, yaki sauce or yung mustard or even yung mint jelly. Kasi nainiwala sila, and I believe that this one tastes really good. I thank you. Let's put that to the test. I ordered mine medium rare. Kaya dapat medyo mas malambot siya. But even medium rare, medyo matigas siya na konti. But, but, the flavor is there. This is the type of meat that I'll be ordering. And trust me, you'll like this. I did not know that I'll be seeing this one. Uh, we're gonna be having our dinner here. We're gonna be having this type of Japanese meal called the uh, Kiritanpo. So, dito sa Akita. Um, this is one of their special delicacies. It's called Tanpo. Tanpo is a special kind of rice. Na ginigrill nila ngayon. Parang, parang puto sa atin. Tapos, magiging Kiritanpo lang siya. Kiri means cut. Pag nilagay mo na sa isang nabe, which is a Japanese hot pot. That's why they call it Kiritanpo nabe. It's a special hot pot naman. They have the Akita Japanese ingredients. Samot sari dito. But the main meat na ginagamit nila, or the main viand, is poultry manok. Kasama dito yung iba't ibang parts sa manok, pero yung highlight part dito ay yung part ng manok na gumagawa ng itlog. It's low in cholesterol, low in fat, but it's really, really good.
<laughs> so finally I got to try the tampoyaki. Come on, surprise. It's really good. Matamis siya na maalat. Pero tulad ng pull of flavor. Kasi minsan baka matamis. Ano yun? May tamis, may alat. Pero buti na lang, may kanin. Para magbalance yun nun. nagtatanong dyan kung ano ba nga yung lasa ng isang tanko. It's, it's rice. Okay. Um, if you're gonna be asking me kung may, may lasa siya, again, it's rice. Na nagpapalasa sa kanya ay yung yung soy sauce, special soy sauce na nilagay kanina. Yung stock nito. Pero I go not just for the flavor, I go for the texture. And I tell you, na tanko or kiri tanko, it is packed with texture. If you want to be cultured, yan yung mga isipin. Texture, flavor, and presyo. <laughs> so there we have it. Got different kinds of delicacies all over Japan. It's not the usual in this vlog. Kakaiba tayo. But yeah, if you have more comments, suggestions, kung sa kami pwede pumunta, kung ano ba yung pwede namin try, feel free to do that in the comment section below. Like this page, subscribe, and at the end of the day, whatever happens, I love you. We had lots of food. Busog na busog ako, pero mas busog ang puso ko. I'm Robbie D. I'll see you guys next time. Wishy.